Today's comment of the day is from Artican. Artican said, Smo is so underrated. Look at the amount of effort and creativity placed into this video. Keep your head up, King. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. I do put a lot of heart and effort into my videos, and it's 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 uh it's nice knowing that someone actually enjoys that. You know what I mean? Someone uh, actually recognizes it. So I really appreciate it, and uh I appreciate you watching the content, enjoying the content, and I hope to see your beautiful face on other videos. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. I made a video explaining how to make limited spells unlimited inside of Noida. Um, if you already have the Greek letter spells and the spell refresher, feel free to watch my video explaining how you can actually use those spells on your wand to get unlimited spells. And yeah, just go ahead and check that guy out. Also leave a comment down below if you know how to make other cool wands using the Greek letter spells or spell refresher. I would love to see those comments in the go back and forward with you and maybe we can make a video or something like that i think it would be dope uh, so yeah please leave a comment down below if you know a little something something that i don't know other than that let's go ahead and get started both the spell refresher and the greek letter spells can be found in the exact same location and draw from the exact same boss this boss is located in the abandoned alchemy lab located west of the ancient laboratory if you want a detailed map i'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check that out it's universal map so it'll work no matter what your seat is so if, if you know if you don't know exactly where it's at that map should help you upon entrance the boss will appear to be a attacking you which he is uh the high alchemist is one of the mage faction and has 1000 health this boss is immune to being frozen stunned polymorphed glued physics damage touch of spells resurrection and venomous curse that sounds like a lot but you can still deal a lot of damage to this guy uh he takes less damage from projectiles slice fire drill and electricity however explosions toxic ice and melee have no damage reductions on this boss with that information, you should be able to make an amazing wand to take this guy down fast. As far as combat goes, this boss possesses a shield which will reflect any and all attacks back at the player, uh, which are triggered for a short time after the High Alchemist receives damage. Uh, the shield will last for 10 seconds. Once it's down, that's when you want to start pumping your damage. Throughout the fight, the High Alchemist will summon dark, glowing, volatile, and thunder wands to attack you. Um, as long as you stay mobile and avoid their attacks, you will be perfectly fine. A good strategy that I have with this boss is to have a one that literally does an insane amount of damage in one hit. Uh, using ones like mini guns, you know, ones that shoot fast but don't actually have a lot of damage per shot are bad because his shield is just going to come right back up and it's going to prolong the fight. So you're going to want to have a wand that does a lot of damage in one hit. Um, good wands for this or good spells for this is like trigger wands. For example, I'll show you on the screen right now. I use this one, literally one shot this guy. So you could copy what I have or make something similar. Um, but yeah, another good thing is to have a teleporter wand on hand for that extra mobility so you can dodge those wand attacks and his basic attack. Um, extra mobility is never a bad thing, even if you have some perks that make you, uh, you know, faster movement, faster levitation, anything like that to stay out of reach of this guy. Uh, that's going to be really good for you in this fight. Some good spells that you might want to try are the lightning bolt, thunder chard, explosion of thunder, or the ball of lightning uh, behind the trigger wand since these do do a lot of damage in a short amount of time. Um, and yeah, after death, the alchemist will draw four of the nine possible spells, and all of these spells will now be unlocked to find and be wowed on ones. It's not guaranteed that you're going to get the Greek letter spell that you want or spell refresher, but he does drop it. And once you kill him for the first time, all of these will be available on ones in the natural world that generate. So keep that in mind. Now that you have these spells, you have unlocked the ability to do countless of amazing things, such as making limited spells unlimited. If you want to watch a video on how to do that, Feel free to check mine out where I go over how to make unlimited spells inside of Noida. Um, but yeah, hopefully that video helps you out. And I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed the content, do not forget to check out my Twitch streams over at Smorjo. I go live. I play Noida. And I would love to see your beautiful faces there. It would be amazing. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and peace.